Hey guys, what's up? Another video from our Outdoorsman here. Um, I've been thinking of a video to do. My editing system's kind of down. I can just um, record and send straight to YouTube. That's about all I can do. I can't edit right now. So, um, that sucks. So that's why there's no, there hasn't been any videos uh, coming up lately. Um, but this video is about uh, my top five pre-spawn or spawn baits. Um, number one is a crankbait. Alright, so it's a bluegill color. Um, and I like it to where it's it's supposed to be like the maximum depth it can reach. Depth it can reach is deeper than what I'm fishing. Um, and I like that because it makes it look like the bluegill is um, eating on the eggs of the fish for the spawning fish or um, tearing up the beds for the pre-spawning fish that they've just made like the beds of the um, the beds of the um, the beds that the fish have just made so um, they'll get mad and hit it and it also causes a reaction bite um, I also like the crawdad color because a crawdads love to eat bluegills um, ain't not bluegills, basses, eggs. Um, my second bait is a jig. Now this one's a finesse jig, and I got it because, um, it came in a two-pack for four dollars. Um, it's a booyah, crawl that color, but, um, it's a three-quarter ounce, and that's pretty big for a finesse jig, so... It's down in there, and it's, um, you can really, because of the weight of this, you can, um, work it like a normal jig. And, like, it's a lot bigger presentation than a normal finesse jig. Um, my third lure is a chatterbait. Now, this one's shad. I normally go with the, um, I normally go with the bluegill colored. Um, because bluegill normally eat their eggs more than shad do, and shad don't even eat their eggs. But um, if it, something just swims by their bed, they're gonna eat it. So really, it doesn't. I mean, it does matter, but you can go with the shad, bluegill, any color basically uh, during the spawn when they're spawning. Um, my fourth lure is a spinnerbait. And I don't like I only like the spinnerbait in the dirtier water, um, because the blades. This one's a willow leaf. The blades um, give off, uh, like, they give off a lot of vibration, and they can see the blades in the water, and then they see uh, when they come up and look at the blades, they see the uh, the spinnerbait itself, and they'll uh, hit that. And then my fifth bait which I use a lot down at Groose Ferry. Um, it's a swim bait type thing, or it is a swim bait. It's got a broken tail, it looks exactly like a bluegill. And when it swims through water, it looks exactly like a bluegill, so I'll work it, and it's nose heavy, so it like dives down and uh, when it starts swimming back up like that. So I'll work it, and when it's coming down, it goes like, it like it makes it look like it's swimming so what I'll do is I'll almost work it like a jig I'll have it dive down hit the bottom come back up it'll go like that hit the bottom and then come back up and then swim it and then do the same thing and that way it looks like it's going down and eating those eggs and coming back up and my rod of choice for all of these lures is my new Mojo Bass, um, seven foot one. I got seven foot one because it was the only one they had. But um, I I actually like the seven foot one. I feel like the one inch um gives you uh, more accuracy when you're casting over a seven foot rod. It's a medium heavy. I have um fifteen pound foil carbon on here. Um, I like the fifteen pound because um it's 
thin, it like still gets your um, crankbait down to its maximum depth. Um, I have a fast ta uh, fast action uh, tip, and then I have a loose reel. Um, and this reel is different than most that you'll see because it is a left-handed retrieve. And I've always, my right hand is my dominant hand, so that's the rod I work with better. So I can multitask, like, I can, like, for a walking bait in top water, I can work better. I can work it better with this because I can reel and work it. With uh, the left-handed rods, now this is just my perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> this is my personal pre preference because um um with my left hand I can't work the bait as well and keep reeling. Um I have a 7 to 0.5 uh gear ratio and I have that because um it's fast like for cranking you reel slowly and then when you get a fish you can catch up to them and most people go slow and then like burn it on their reel but it's not going as it's going as fast as you would be reeling slowly on this thing and then um you can just catch up to the fish with this one um so that's it for my top five lures um hope you liked it uh Make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> if you like this video, please uh, hit like, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe.